Birds are going crazy and it's only March 1st. What do you think, bud? What you think? Okay, guys, I got a little job here that, that uh, I do quite often. I sell these and what they are is a heel shifter delete. And let me explain what that is. A lot of Harleys have heel toe shifters. So they have basically two shifter levers on them. Uh, and a lot of guys don't like the heel shifter, so they'll take them off. Well, then you have the shaft sitting there with splines on it, and you know that's not very attractive, so you put something over it to cover it. And this is, looks kind of like a gun cylinder. Uh, I don't make this part. What I do is modify it to fit Harleys. And so quite a few of these, you know, Harley guys like their bling. But I'll show you a close up of this thing, what it looks like. You can see my fingerprints on there. I'll take care of that before I ship them as well. So, the job is basically very simple. It's just a turning job, uh, a drilling job really. Uh, enlarge this hole to a half inch. And um, I don't just drill it at a half inch, I drill it a 64th under and then um, ream it to a half inch. So it's a nice tight fit on the shaft. And then we'll modify the set screw that holds it in by putting a point on it. It's Like I said, it's a very simple job. The problem with doing this job is this chrome. This is made overseas. It's aluminum with chrome covering. Um, I know from experience that it's got a brass underlayment of some, or a, excuse me, it's got a copper underlayment of some sort. The chrome is not as tough as something like you might see on a bumper or something like that. It's, you can easily scratch it. Um, if you hit it the wrong way, you could actually peel it. So they're very well made, but you know, it's, it's what you get these days as far as chrome goes. So chucking this in the lathe is a problem because the lathe jaws will actually scratch this. So you have to kind of hold these delicately. So the best method I've found for this is to use a piece of emery cloth. Uh, I've tried a couple different other ways of doing it and emery cloth seems to be the best. It's just the right size. The inside goes against the chrome, of course. It's just grippy enough that it, it holds the part, but it doesn't scratch it. So take that. Put it in the chuck, get it all the way back of course. Make sure the jaws are, are on the high spots of the uh, part. Push it back and then I've been able to tighten this really tight. And you need to tighten these, t these particular parts tight because they will slip and if they slip even in the, even in the emery cloth uh, they are going to scratch. It's just the nature of chrome I guess, this particular chrome. So we got it in there, and I'll quickly do one and uh, show you what they look like when they're done. I don't like to shove it in there all the way because it's a blind hole. So make sure I blow it out about 
when I'm getting close to the end, that way I don't get it stuck in there. There we go. Looks like I need to align my tailstock a little bit. This is to be a little bit off. A nice big chamfering tool. Here we go. So this is how they normally come out. Of course this side doesn't matter because it's it's hidden anyway. If you look at the sides, there's no scratches. I do the set screw on a belt sander, I'll show you that real quick. Alright, so I'll carefully displace it on the end of the Allen wrench. And... The reason I put a point on it is because it goes on a spline shaft and I found through experiment a point is better on the spline shaft than just being a flat. It just seems to work better. So let's give that a polish. I use Mother's All Chrome. Just spray a little bit on a rag, rub it in. Sure, we get the top. Take the other side of the rag and buff it off. And there we have it. Nice untouched chrome. That one's ready to be shipped out. I appreciate y'all watching and uh, until next time, thanks a lot. Bye.